Hi everybody, Josh here, and today we're going to tackle a pretty common problem, and that is a computer mouse that is moving on the screen on its own, moving around while you're typing or doing other things. Maybe it comes and goes, maybe it happens all the time. Either way, we're going to jump into this problem and see what we can do to figure it out. As always, we're going to start with the easiest and simplest solutions first, and then work our way towards the more difficult or uh, time-consuming uh, fixes. Okay, the first thing we're gonna talk about is if this is a brand new mouse and you've just installed it, you've just plugged it in for the first time and you're having issues with it, I do wanna point out that it could be a driver issue. If, especially if you have a fancy gaming mouse or something like that, uh, it probably has its own set of drivers. It may even have its own app associated with the mouse itself and you'll wanna go directly to the manufacturer to download the most up-to-date drivers. They may have also included a CD or something with it, but these days, most of the time you're just going to go straight to the website and get the files. In my particular case, I have a Razer Death Adder uh, mouse and so what I would do is I would go to Razer.com in the download section and if you go through into the support section and you go into the mice section, it's going to give you some downloads and those downloads are going to be the Razer app, it's going to be drivers, and it's going to have everything that you'll need to make sure that the uh, software is up to date on your computer for the mouse. If you don't have a Razer mouse, just go to whatever manufacturer you've got and look in the support or the download section. Now, if that's not the issue or if you've already updated your drivers, the next thing I want you to check is, is it a wireless mouse? If it's a wireless mouse, the first thing to check is always the batteries. If you have batteries inside the mouse that you have to replace, check them, replace them, make sure that's not the issue. If they're rechargeable batteries, make sure you throw it on the charger for a little while. Maybe you actually have had the mouse for so long that it's no longer holding a charge correctly, and in which case you may need to see if you can replace that battery, or maybe even just replace the mouse. Now, if it's not a brand new mouse and it's not a wireless mouse, let's check out all of the common fixes for all mice, all computer mice that are automatically moving or moving on their own on the screen. Okay, the first fix is the most common sense fix, but people seem to not think about it for whatever reason, and that's clean the mouse, okay? Mice have a little sensor on the bottom, and this mouse sensor can get gunked up, it can get dust, it can get grime in there. Uh, so what you're gonna wanna do is clean the mouse sensor. Let's walk through that process real quick, it just takes a second. You're gonna need two things, a Q-tip, and some alcohol. Make sure that it's at least 70% isopropyl alcohol. If it's less than that, you may cause some damage uh, and you don't need anything more than 70%, you'll be good to go. All right, let's jump in. All right, so in my particular case, like I said before, I have a Razer Death Adder 2013, probably about time to change this mouse, but you can see right here in the middle is the little sensor. Grab your Q-tip, put a little alcohol on it, and you're just going to go straight into the sensor Wiggle it around, wipe it around, wipe around the outside, make sure that there's no dust or grime down in there. And once you've got everything cleaned up, simply flip your mouse back over and see if you're still having the problem. All right, if that's not it, you're gonna jump into your mouse settings. Just go to your Windows search bar and type mouse and you'll see mouse settings. Open it up and you'll see some adjustments that you can make with your cursor speed, how many lines to scroll, etc. What we're gonna wanna do is go to additional mouse options on the right. It's gonna open up these mouse properties and then you're gonna move over to pointer options and you're gonna wanna change this pointer speed to a different uh, place or you can even change it to a different place, hit apply and then change it back to where you were. And then you could even turn on or off enhance pointer precision. I don't notice much of a difference here with that, but you can turn it off or on and see if it makes a difference and that could help isolate the problem. Also, if it currently has hide pointer while typing not selected, you can select that because what that'll do is when you're typing on your keyboard, it'll hide the mouse cursor so that you, in case you accidentally bump it or do something while you're typing, it won't cause any issue. Um, not a big deal. Uh, this may not be a huge culprit, but it's something that you can check as well. Get all those settings applied and hit OK. Check and see if you're still having the issue with your mouse. If you're still having a problem, there's one more thing we want to do. Now, I mentioned before that if it's a brand new mouse, you want to check and make sure the manufacturer driver is there. If this is a mouse you've been using for a long time, then it's likely that you just have the Windows default driver loaded, which can become corrupted over time. Maybe there was a Windows update. Who knows? 
But what we can do is go ahead and refresh that driver with a reinstall. Go ahead and click on the search bar and go to device manager, open that up. Then you're gonna to wanna to scroll down until you see mice and other pointing devices, and you should see some version of HID compliant mouse. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on that and we're gonna click uninstall device. So don't freak out. Um, what's gonna happen is we're gonna click this and you won't be able to use your mouse anymore, but don't worry, we'll fix it. So right click it, click on uninstall device. It'll ask you if you do wanna uninstall it, we're gonna say yes. Now your mouse is gone. It, your mouse pointer's gone, nothing's happening, okay? All right, so what we're gonna do now is use our keyboard to uh, actually get our mouse uh, drivers back on. So uh, don't, you know, you can't click away from the from this window. You're already on the device manager window. So now that you're here, uh, click Alt, um, press Alt on your keyboard. And if you press it a couple times, you can see that file up in the top left is actually highlighting. And then you see that there's an underline under the F, the A, the V, and the H. That's showing you that keyboard shortcuts are available. And what you can do if you type down or you type left to right is you can actually navigate these menus with your keyboard. What you're gonna wanna do is navigate over to action and then uh, hit down. So you go to scan for hardware changes, okay? Uh, just hit enter and your mouse pointer should come back because what's happening is is Windows is searching your device uh, you're searching your computer for new devices it's gonna find your mouse again because it was uninstalled but it's still connected now you should see your mouse pointer back and you should see that it's back under mice and other pointing devices check and see if this works for your mouse all of this stuff should have fixed it. I mean, if it hasn't by this point, uh, we've got one other thing we can try. If you go back into the search bar and you uh, type mouse settings, it's gonna open up this menu here. You're gonna wanna go to the right and go to additional mouse uh, options. Open that up, it's gonna show mouse properties. Go over to pointer options, okay? And then what I want you to do is make sure that hide pointer while typing is uh, checked here. Uh, occasionally causes issues when you're typing in Word or something and you bump into it, it looks like your mouse is moving. Um, you can also change the pointer speed up here to something different, apply it, and then if you wanna change it back, you can just change it right back, but make sure you, that you do make some kind of change. Um, make sure that uh, the hide pointer while typing is selected, get those changes applied. Uh, you could even uh, check and uncheck enhance pointer precision to see if that makes a difference. I personally don't notice anything in terms of what it does, um, but that may be causing an issue where your mouse is moving on its own. Get those changes applied and hopefully your mouse is no longer moving on its own. If this video helped you out, be sure to drop a like on it and let us know in the comments which, which fix worked for you. If you wanna see other videos just like this where I show you how to fix common computer issues, consider subscribing to the channel and you'll see content just like this every week. Thanks for watching.